So we find out some information on Dio in this episode of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Stardust Crusaders. I don't know if it was ever mentioned before in the, you know, first part of Stardust Crusaders, but in this episode, Anubis reveals the stand name to Dio, and it's called The World. Now, I don't necessarily remember the world ever being mentioned before in the first part of Stardust Crusaders. I'm an anime only, by the way. So, that's interesting. The, the stand name alone has me curious, like, what does it do? Because... A stand called The World, it sounds pretty violent, and <laughs> it sounds badass. I mean, for it to be with Dio, you know, Dio, I, I, I know for a fact it's probably going to be something strong, but the stand name, it has me curious about what type of abilities most likely it might have, but moving past that, because there's not really much information on it besides that, the main focus of this episode is wrapping up the next half of the Anubis arc. For instance, these two-part, like, Anubis episodes. For instance, you know, we had the first episode last week. This episode concludes the Anubis arc, and we get to see the conclusion of Anubis. So, Anubis gets pretty much wrecked right at the end of the episode, but he was holding his own. Like, he took over Polinarf, and he was beating the shit out of Jotaro in majority of this episode. And I was quite surprised to see Jotaro complimenting Anubis. Like, he was saying Anubis was one of the fastest stands he's ever came across for the journey that he's been in this series. So... That just shows you how impressive Anubis was to be that fast, and he was getting faster and faster and learning the abilities of his opponents while improving himself. So Anubis was very OP, like he was a very OP stand, and it's not just that either. We find out Anubis was just a stand with no user, and that right there sets something up. For Anubis not to actually have a stand user, and he's just a stand that thinks by itself, I wonder if we're gonna encounter any more stands that will be able to think on their own. Like, I mean, that's something I wonder, because if a stand can actually have its own thoughts and its own, you know, brain, pretty much, I wonder if other stands, like, you know, stands that we know and love, you know, like Star Platinum, can get their own mind. I, I wonder if that's possible, I mean, for that to be introduced in the series for Anubis to be able to do something like that, because from what we find out is that this stand was from 500 years ago. For instance, uh, the original stand user of Anubis made that sword 500 years ago, became the stand of the dude, and the dude, I'm guessing, passed away from old age, and he was left alone in a museum, and Dio eventually found him and took him in. So, so, to find this out, I wonder if other stands can actually gain intelligence, like, you know, their own thought process. So, this episode, for the most part, it ties the knot on Anubis. He, he just gets crushed at the end. Like, oh my god. I was laughing my ass off when you see how, like, everything was going in Anubis' way. Like, I mean, he looked like he had it in the bag. Like, he was about to kill Jotaro and Polinarf. I mean, he's about to have that kid sling his blade. All of a sudden, Iggy comes in, grabs that piece of candy, and fucks up Anubis. Like, I don't know if it's just me, but I, I think Iggy did that purposely because Iggy, I, I don't really know how to take Iggy. Like I've said before, he's an asshole, but I don't think he really is a person that would try to kill his comrades. I mean, I don't know. Maybe he has some form of mutual respect for Jotaro and Polinarf because he does jump on Polinarf's face and farts on him like every single episode since he's been introduced. So, I mean, maybe he's just trying to assert his dominance on Polinarf's face. So... This episode, I mean, Iggy, I, I don't know. I, I really wonder if he did that purposely, if he saved Jotaro and them. Because, I mean, Jotaro and I did not realize Iggy just saved their ass in the middle of this episode. Because Iggy grabs the candy, which tur in turn puts the balance of Anubis off balance where he's falling over. The blade gets slung the wrong direction, and it goes into the water because of Anubis freaking out. Like, oh my god, that, that was priceless. Like, you see Anubis, you see like his, you know, dog form, like the Anubis god form. He's like over his sword, he's like, I can do this! You, you just see him being happy, like, okay... I'll hit the wall, I'll hit the boat, or whatever, and he's freaking out, and all that, he goes straight through the wall, I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, that fell, he goes straight through the wall, and then he hits the cow, and the cow starts fucking freaking out, and then just, yeah, he goes in the water, so, very sad end, I wonder if Anubis will come back anytime in the future, I mean, at the end of the episode, it says Anubis retires, but I mean, he's not really dead, so to say, so I wonder if Anubis will come back, or is this really the definite end for the stand user Anubis? I mean, we'll have to see. Overall, the episode, very good. I love this episode of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. It pretty much just concludes up this fight, so tell me your thoughts in the comments below. I love y'all so much. Please be safe. Chibi